All right, Hunter. Let's see what we got going on. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Got to find his ass. Got some tracks. Trails fresh. His love just left home. Here we go. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. No, why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. <laughs> wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. <clears throat> I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die, because they're clever. Too late. Attacked another one. Oh. Howdy. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Come on now. Oh, I got hit. I gotta back off and Quinn. Get the bow. Nope, uh, my Quinn's gone. <laughs> I need some more Quinn. Oh, man. Alright, Quinn. This guy's a tough one. Come on, then. Uh uh. It's a big dog. Survival of the fittest, I suppose. Oh, I fucking need more Quinn. You. Uh, yeah. Loot the doggets. Gots to loot the doggets. What? Oh, you're attacking more? Is there more? I don't see any. Oh, yep, there he goes. He's down right here. Oh, that's a person. Oh, yeah, there he is. Alright, dude. So, what's next? Brutal. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together. Where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. That was before. Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So, can you show me where you found the Nilf Guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Not much. Not my kind Level of game. Two? You're his kind. Um, I usually get my coin up first. Survival instincts alone ought Let's to you know you when care. your queen is definitely I gone. Silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Alright, Miss Love, take me to the nest. Out oh, here. Twas here. One lay there by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. 
grounds black, saturated with blood. Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. So like half of them were probably drunk. The other half on their way. A camp. It's a bad place for a camp, right in the middle of a fucking trail. Oh, hey. What's that? Uh, some tracks. These prints are older. And deeper. Heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably. Okay. Follow them up, then. Oh, oh, I tried to jump. I failed. Good thing, though. Get some... Items from this loot here. I can shut up. Up some more. Yep. They even made this jump. That's some badasses in armor. What remains of it, at least? Yeah, beehive. Burn the beehive. It'll drop, and then give you an item. Honeycombs. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. The bummer. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir. Alright, head back for Vesemir. Oh, jeez. Oh, I no! Oh man, I survived. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Run, Roach. Yeah, run, Roach. We ain't got no time for this. Oh, look, a hut. I'm gonna check this hut out. What is this place? Oh, this is the Witch of the Well that I run into later. Oh, yeah, merchant. Oh, it's the again. same one. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll let it go half free. Let me have a look at your stock. Good man. Whose field is that the other side of the river? By the wood? Or in clinics? Good lad, Master Wilson. <laughs> no, he... Yes, yes. This boy will he venture out to inspect his grain any time soon. What for? Harvest is a long way off yet. Yeah, sorry, Vesemir. I got some other things I gotta do. Take them all. Oh yeah, I definitely want to talk to Willis too. Read my stuff. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. <laughs> what do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything. Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. 
But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dent out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in him, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Alright, whatever. Let's just, uh, find this asshole. Oops. Footprints. A man's. <clears throat> Large. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Oh. What? Lost your nerve. Fuck you! Ugh. I gotta. Oh man. Put that swallow up and Quinn. Oh, that merchant is so dead. Yeah, I could use some help, guys. Get on that shit. Get some Quinn. Ooh, ugh. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh-uh. I don't want any of that. Get the fuck out of here. How did they even kill drowners without a silver sword? Like, I have to use a fucking silver sword. Maybe you could do it with an iron sword or whatever. Just take like a lot longer. I have to have one hell of a sword. That fucking merchant is dead. I keep following the tracks. Went right through fucking town. Straight to his house. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Yeah, I suppose. Dark in here. Ah. Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Sup, tough guy. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. He's working on it. Give him a minute. Seems like Nap needs a nap. You're such a slow prick. I wonder if I could just run straight up to the smith. Yep, and just fucking teleport him there. Up and at him. Hmm? What? What? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap. You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. 
The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Sweet.